Welcome you back to Boxing Jabs. Tonight, we're going to talk about Anthony Joshua's stunning knockout against Karab Pulev. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button and also comment on this video. Anthony Joshua steps back in the ring with his unified heavyweight championship and destroys Karab Pulev in the ninth round knockout. This was a classic knockout. Straight jab, right hand, right down the pike. Similar to Tommy Hearns against Papago Cuevas. Pulev was out. This is vintage Anthony Joshua. He's getting his confidence back. His boxing skills have improved. You see his body has slimmed down. You also see his ring generalship is getting better. Anthony Joshua has actually become more intelligent after the loss to Ruiz. He has become a better fighter. He's not as aggressive, but he is aggressive. He picks his spots. He doesn't look for the knockout. He lets the knockout come to him. And that's what you saw tonight. You saw his impressive jab. You saw him jab into the body. But you also saw him in the third round when he knocked down Pulev two times. Be extremely patient and cautious with his punches to make sure he was never tired and also never in the range to where Pulev can throw a shot, a miracle shot, and hurt him. You have to be impressed with Anthony Joshua. You have to be impressed of his knowledge of boxing. And like he said, every time he's training, he's getting better. He's still a young fighter. And the thing what I like about Anthony Joshua is that he wants to learn the sport. He knows that he hasn't reached his peak. He knows that it's going to take a while before he becomes that complete fighter. And maybe that night against the other heavyweight champion, Tyson Fury, may be the culmination to his career. Because that's possibly the next fight coming up for Anthony Joshua. The people around the world will be clamoring for Joshua Fury after this knockout. And after Tyson Fury's impressive knockout against Deontay Wilder. We have the lineal WBC champ and we have the unified champion. We can finally have one champion. If these two lions get into the ring. And that's what people want to see. We know that Bob Arum has been talking trash. We know that Eddie Hearn is ready to put his fighter in the ring. With Tyson Fury. We know Tyson Fury's father has been on a rampage. Saying his son will destroy Anthony Joshua. Everybody would love to see that fight. Because these two guys have two different styles. I know these guys have trained together. They have sparred together. So they pretty much know what their strengths and weaknesses are. But that was younger when Anthony Joshua was much younger. This is the fight we want to see. Usyk can be down the road. But Joshua Fury is now. Because those two fighters have to come together. If Joshua takes the other route, which is Deontay Wilder, that would be different. But I'm starting to hear that Fury might fight Wilder in that third fight. We don't know. But the world does really does not want to see that fight right now. We want to see Fury and Joshua. That would be huge in England. All they need to do is find somewhere to take the fight. In which you can have a large audience. And what we're talking about. A large live gate. Where they can make those extra million. But let me tell you. If this fight goes off. It could be the biggest fight of all times. Because these two fighters are going to make. Gazillions of dollars. Out of England. And you know they're going to make big money. Here in the United States. 
it's time for that fight. It's time for these two lions to get in the ring and prove who is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. I want to thank you for listening to this quick take of Joshua Pulev. We hope to see that fight soon with Joshua and Fury. And I hope you subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, and also share this video.